The speaking test is 20 minutes. There are 8 tasks in speaking test. Please try your best to complete each task. Every member in my family is my favorite I love them all. But still if saying about my most favorite family member then it's my father. I don't think any word or sentence can describe the word father. Father is like that big tree who always overshadows his family throughout his life. My father is my hero. He is a middle-aged man and he, and he always has a smile on his face. He is a very kind and polite. He is the most special person to me because he is not only my guardian and father, but also my teacher and guide. He has always been a source of inspiration and motivation to me. My father is the one whom I rely and seek help from. I love him a lot. Hello Roger. How are you? Hope you are doing well. I heard that you are looking for a part-time evening course. Many students find difficulty in choosing what course to take. 
You should be careful in choosing a course, because once you start a course there is no way getting back, no doubt you can shift to another course, but a lot of things will be waste wasted your efforts money time. The most basic consideration in choosing a course is, of course, what you want. Is there something that you have always wanted to get into, something that resonates within the very fiber of your being? If so that may be where you should go. Unquestionably, there are a number of institutes that provide students a great variety of learning opportunities. Therefore, focus on the course that is relevant to your future profession. There are a number of part-time courses which will help you. One of the courses is technical courses which is popular among the IT, engineering and computer departments. In our area this course is provided by five different institutions out of which Seneca Group of Institution is top rated. Fashion designer course is also a popular course. There are even film courses, acting courses and other co-curricular courses. Another popular course is event management provided by MD Institute, they trains potential candidate of our area. Hair styling course, greeting cards making course, stylist coordinator course is also provided by GNV's Institute Management. Other courses like accounting agricultural science, business and it and computing, all are top rated are also available. Roads trips are always fun with friends. It is a great way to get away from the day-to-day -day problems and spend your time according to your own will. My best travel experience with my friends was the trip to Goa, the best and memorable trip ever. It was the month of February and we instantly planned to go off to via car. After taking permissions from our parents within a few hours we were done with the planning. We were super excited about the trip. Now comes the day of travel. It generally takes around 16 hours to reach there, so according to that, we divided the driving time. The car was well maintained one and could stand the long journey. We wanted to avoid the morning rush on the road. So, we started early morning after having tea, started off to beaches. It was very tripping for us. We were laughing like hell on our way. We reached to Palolo Beach and there was a small boat where only two persons can sit on each row. We took the boat and entered into the sea. We were four guys out of which only two of us knows swimming, but the other two dared to enter the water. I took the lead of the boat, and my friend who doesn't know swimming got on back. It took around an hour to enter into the sea. We were laughing jumping doing lot of things, all the people were looking at us like something happened to us, the waves were really hard, and we were losing our control, but my friend was really getting excited by the waves, and was jumping in the boat, and I was like stop, what you are doing we could lose our control and fall in the sea, but he was too excited, but later he came under control. After that the scenic beauty we watched changed our lives. It was around 6 in the evening, and we were about a 500 meters away from the seashore, as it was the time of sunset we could see fishes sailing right next to some of them were jumping into our boat. The sunset was really awesome, there were around 20 couple almost foreigners watching the beauty of the nature with us. It happened to be the most memorable trip in our lives, and at last, were reached safely to the shore.
The above picture is of a room where there is big television, a trophy, and a soccer ball on a desk like platform. There are five people out of which four are men and the other one is a woman, and three men are sitting on a couch and the other man and the woman are standing near them. Each of them has a thing on one hand. Like the first man who is wearing a red soccer jersey along with green pants is holding a flag. The second man is sitting on the couch and is wearing a white color jersey along with a red and yellow scarf and he has a big red glove in one hand. The next man is wearing a red jersey and he is happily cheering for his team. The fourth man is wearing a white jersey and he is wearing a big yellow color glove. The woman is wearing a red color jersey and she has a red and yellow flag in her hand. All of them are enjoying a soccer match telecasted on the TV. They all have a smile on their faces, which signifies that the team they are supporting is probably performing great. In the above picture, it might happen that the team they are supporting could win or lose. If their team loses, all the smiles on their faces will disappear, and they will be disappointed. It also might happen that they could also win the match and celebrate after winning. The way they are together showing the togetherness between them, it shows how they are emotionally connected to a game to a game. After the match, all will leave for their respective homes with happiness or with sadness. If their team will lose the match today, it is sure that they will be unhappy, but they are going to support them even after losing.
Hello, boss. I carefully reviewed both options and I think we should go with the option of cabins. It is ideal for our company members. It has more transparent and more lightning. We have shared cooling and heating systems. It is more economical and easier for managers. On top of that, we have restrained privacy. On the other hand, private offices are more expensive and less transparent. It requires more heating and cooling system. Though it has no disturbance for the workers and feeling of personal touch is also a very good option. But still, I think you should go in the cabins because our team needs our assistance in handling our clients. So, cabins will be a good option for us. Hello Roger, I came to know that you are suggesting open cabins. Yes, it is also a good option and it has almost the same features as I suggest to our boss like it is more transparent, more lightning, shared cooling and heating system. But still, I think, we should go with the cabin option, because it has the same features as open cabins but it has one more feature, one more feature, restrained privacy which makes it unique and it is not too noisy. So, I think we should opt for cabins. Hello mom, I just wanted to talk to you regarding something. Our office mates are having a new year party on a sea beach in Goa. And it is really necessary for me to be there as it is not just a new year party but also we are having an official meeting there. So it's a party come meeting. I know it's new year and you guys want me to be with you to celebrate new year even I want this the same. But believe me it's really important for me to be there as I'm the head of the project that we are currently doing and we have a really important meeting regarding the project. I will leave for Goa on Sunday that is on 30th of December and I will come back on 3rd of January. 
After returning from Goa, we will celebrate New Year again as I will be home for five days. I know it will not feel the same, but it doesn't matter as we are family and we can enjoy every sort of things. I hope you guys understand my situation, I am stuck in between. I want to stay home with you guys, but it is impossible. Hello, friends, I want to discuss something. First of all, I am really sorry I can't come to Goa with you guys. As you guys know, my uncle's health is not well, and he is hospitalized. The possibilities of his death is very high. Doctor are even helpless, the only thing that could save my uncle is prayers. It is a very tough time for me and my family, and my family really needs me here as I am the one who is taking care of finance and other things. And family is the first priority from everything. I know apart from New Year party, we are also having an important meeting there, which is really very necessary for me to attend as I am the head of the project. But as I said before, I can't go. So, in my absence, take care of everything and handle everything possible, and show my forgiveness to Mr. Kana, make him understand about my situation, and tell him once the situation settles down, I will visit him and discuss about the project again. Hope you guys will understand and will manage everything on my behalf. If you guys needed any of my help, then give me a call. I personally agree with proposing a more expensive price of petrol to reduce traffic from the demanding point of view. The increasing traffic congestion has become a major problem. So, in order to solve these issues, we need to take steps to control the number of vehicles that run on the streets every day. And increasing the fuel price seems like a great solution. This will also make people think about using alternative energy sources which cause no harm to the environment. An increase in petrol price will decrease the amount used. The rise in the price of petrol would decrease the demand for cars and other vehicles which will reduce the traffic. Moreover, the demand for the price is inelastic, causing total revenue of suppliers will increase when the price is increasing. Furthermore, the increase in petrol price also will affect the investment of the government in public transport. When the price of petrol rises, drivers are spending more money on petrol. Thus, consumers may prefer to use public transport rather than use their own car which will lead to less, less traffic on road. The quantity demanded in public transport will increase. In order to prevent a shortage in public transport, the government may spend more on public transport to increase the quantity supplied, for example, purchase more buses and hire more buses. In my opinion, I think the government should remove the subsidies on the petrol and increase the petrol price. As the price of petrol is higher, the quantity demanded of petrol will decrease. Therefore, this will lead to a decrease in the usage of petrol and reduce the greenhouse gases in the world. 
Thus, we can live in a better quality environment with less traffic. Hey Roger, I just witnessed a football match and wanted to share that exciting and thrilling football match with you. It was not basically a football match it was a bubble football match. It is nothing but the recreation sport of playing football, while half encased inside an inflated torus bubble, similar to an orb, which covers the player's upper body and head. This game is typically played in teams in large indoor spaces or outdoor fields. Bubble football follows the same objectives and overall rules as regular football, i.e., teams compete to hit a ball into the opposing team's goal, with the added condition that each player must wear an inflatable bubble, similar to a water ball, around their upper torso. There were two teams who were playing one was Real Madrid and another one was Barcelona, as you know I am a fan of Barcelona the whole time I was just cheering Barcelona. It was really fun to watch. Even though the players were enjoying the match, they forgot about the result and were busy funnily teasing each other. I was enjoying myself a lot and laughing harder.